spotlight, I want to talk about eating utensils. Now, flatware as we know it today is a pretty modern invention. Prior to the 19th century, most people living in the United States would have been using just a spoon and a knife. But as manufacturing and technology advanced, uh, it meant that we could start having specialized utensils like forks. And as the Industrial Revolution expanded and the economy grew, uh, it meant that we started having an explosion of luxury goods that would be available to the middle classes as well as to the upper classes. And in this time period, uh, in the 19th century, you're seeing uh, the middle class families starting to have dining rooms with the place settings that may look more familiar to us today. Now for the upper classes, the dining room was a really important way to show off your wealth. And one of the things that showed off your wealth at your table was the elaborate, beautiful, expensive, often made with silver and thus kept in the safe, uh, flatware. And uh, this flatware also had the feature of being many pieces with each having specialized uses. And knowing as an individual, if you knew what those specialized uses were, that helped distinguish you as a person of breeding and stature. So I kind of asked myself, how do I think I would have fared back then? I don't think so well. I look at these three spoons and I go, I don't know which ones they would have been used for. Or look at these two knives. How am I supposed to know? Fortunately, here at Lippet House, we have flashcards. So that's how I would not be fooled. And I would know that this spoon is for the mustard. And while this one is only to be used for the salt. Or what if there were two sets of tongs on the table? Because of these flashcards, I'd know that this one is for the ice, but this one is for the sugar. So how do you think you would have fared at the Victorian table? I hope better than I. Thank you so much for joining uh, me for this spotlight today, and I hope you'll stay tuned for future ones.